Hey, if you're looking to take really cool shots like the one you see right here, then keep watching. I'm going to show you how to take this with just your camera and just your flash. With these two items, you're going to be able to freeze action like these ice cubes falling into a glass and take some really cool shots you can put on Instagram. So keep watching. Hey, I'm Terrence and this is Photography in 123. If this is your first time to this channel, I teach you how to use your camera properly, how to take great photos, and keep you up to date with the kind of gear that's coming out. If that interests you, then please hit subscribe right now. The first thing you want to do is pick a spot where you're going to take your photos. I chose my dining room table and I've got a way to keep the water from splashing everywhere. What I did is I put a placemat in the scene in the middle of the table, so I'm going to put my glass there. So that's where the water is going to splash out. It's not going to splash very much. So that's going to be enough to keep the water contained. Other items you're going to want to have is obviously your glass. This is what you're going to be taking the shots of with the ice falling in. What you're going to do also is have your water colored because you don't want to have plain water. It's not going to photograph very well. So you want to use food coloring. In this case, I use blue, but you could use any color you want. Red works really well for popping your photos. I also had a little bowl to put ice in. So I'll be grabbing the ice cubes from that and dropping them in. You ideally want a black background so you don't see any of the light or anything reflecting back in the back of the photo. So I just bought a piece of black foam core and put it in the background. Next you're going to set up your camera so it's aimed right at the glass. The glass is going to be the bottom of it in the bottom of your frame and you're going to have a lot of space on the top to see the ice cubes falling. The next thing you'll want to do is zoom in on the glass so that the bottom of the glass is on the bottom of your frame. And what I do for falling ice is I actually turn my camera into portrait mode on the side zoom in so the glass is at the bottom and I'm going to have a lot of space at the top to see the ice falling down you want to make sure everything in the background is that black foam core for camera settings set your camera to manual that's the M on a Canon and on most cameras and for your camera settings what you actually want to do is Change your shutter speed so it's at least over two seconds. Let's try 3.2 seconds. And you want a pretty narrow aperture. Start with F16 in this case. Our next step will be to take a test shot so that we're going to see how the photo comes out. What you will want to see is a completely black photo. The reason for this is the flash is going to light the scene and stop the action. I'm going to place the flash in various positions, but right now I'm going to put it to the left of the camera and angled at the subject so it's coming this way where the ice will be falling in into the glass so it's flashing that direction. For your flash settings you're actually going to turn on your camera, press the mode button to get in manual, you'll press the button in the middle and see how you can adjust the power of the flash. What you want is actually to get a pretty low power so in this case I had it set a minute ago to 164th you know what we could try 132nd of a uh, uh, 1 32nd power. What that's going to do, it's going to be much faster flash at the glass and it's that quick quick flash that's going to freeze the action. When the flash is more powerful it's actually on for a little longer which exposes things more. To freeze the action you need to have it very very fast which means lowering the power. So with my scene set up what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to start the camera, quickly drop ice in there and at the same time I'm going to press the pilot button to manually fire the flash. Part of this technique does take a little timing. You're going to have to do multiple shots to get some good ones uh, in there, but they will look amazing. And FYI, get some paper towel to keep it around because you will make a bit of a mess uh, and you want to be able to clean up quickly, especially if it hits your camera. So let's give this a go. I've got my finger ready on the flash. See, simple as that. We'll try another one. And that is how you can try to do this. But let me show you a much better way to do this, which is going to improve your accuracy significantly. So to do this more effectively, what I'm going to use is actually something called a MyOps trigger. It's a sound trigger. There's other kinds of triggers you can buy besides MyOps. Um, my experience so far with MyOps has been positive. I've got lots of other videos you can check out about the MyOps trigger. So it's actually simple to use. I will plug I'll we'll plug one cable into the MyOps, I plug another cable into the flash. I do use a rubber band just to push it in a bit more in case it's a bit loose. 
I will turn on the MyOps trigger. You go to sound, enter. You can set your sensitivity. So nah, maybe I put 95 to hear the uh, ice hitting the water. Delay, I want it to go immediately. I don't want lock on. And as, as soon as I press this button, it's gonna start. So I'm gonna show you it working in a second. It set my camera to go and then drop the ice and that's gonna have the flash go off. So I won't even have to do that. So it's a lot less timing. And the best part of it is when that ice hits the water and the flash goes off and I have a couple cubes coming down, it's gonna catch them perfectly. So you get rid of all the trial and error of dropping the ice and pressing the test button on your flash yourself. This is the best way to do these kinds of shots. So if you're interested in doing this kind of photography, I've got a link below to uh, Amazon. You can get a MyOps trigger there, or you can go to the MyOps website and I've got a link there as well. But uh, it's being shipped from Turkey if you go to MyOps, so maybe you wanna check out the Amazon site first. And there you have it. The MyOps trigger actually worked perfectly for what we're trying to do. The sound of the ice hitting the water set off the flash, which froze the image. And with a camera set on two to three seconds shutter length, it gives you just enough time to drop the ice and have the flash go off and freeze the action. If you found this video interesting and helpful at all, please hit a like, that will really help me a lot. In the comments below, let me know what color drink you're gonna use for having the ice fall into it, because I do wanna know. Post links to photos you take if you can, I'd love to see them. Uh, share this video if it's helpful to others, and I will see you soon.